In this video, we will continue our discovery of the cold fusion forms by introducing the CF select tag. So you know that the select tag of HTML, which is right here, is used to generate a drop down list in a form. You also know that the option tag of HTML is used to fill that drop down list with selectable data. Now, in ColdFusion, we can change select to CF select and, of course, end select to end CF select like that. Thanks to that, I will be able to generate the options of the CF select with data stored in the database. So remember, in the database, we have the instruments table and that table contains two fields. If I show the content, you see that the first field it's the number, the ID of the instrument, and the second field is the name of the instrument. So here, for my option tags, I need the ID of the instrument as the value of the option tag, and the name of the instrument as the content of the option tag that the user clicks on. All right, so to do that, I first need to retrieve the data I need from the database. So first, here at the top of the page, a small confusion comment, get the instruments list to fill the drop down menu of the form. And here I will use a regular CF query to query the HD Street data source. I will give that a name, of course. I will name it RS instruments list like that. So what do I need to select here? I need to select the instrument ID and also the instrument name from the instruments table and I want to order the data by instrument name in ascending order. So in the drop down list, the instruments will be listed in alphabetical order. Now that I have the query and the data, I can return to my CF select and of course remove all those static options. I will just leave the first option, which is please choose your instrument. Now I will add three attributes to the CF select. The first one is the query attribute to tell the CF select that the data needed to generate the options are stored in that RS instruments list query like that. Now inside of the query I have two pieces of information. One of them will be used for the value of the option tag and that piece of information in the query is the instrument ID. So let's copy paste the name of that field here in the value. Now the second piece of information of the query will be used to display something to the user. So to display the data that the user clicks on and that is the name of the instrument. So let's copy paste that from the query to here the display attribute of the CF select. I will save and run my page and you see in the form that the CF select contains the data. You see that the instruments are indeed sorted in alphabetical order, but there is one little problem. My static option here is at the bottom of the list and I want that option to be the first one. So I return to ColdFusion Builder and I will add one fourth attribute here to the CF select. That is the query position attribute and I will make it equal to below to tell the CF select that the data coming from the query must be below the static data that I supply manually in the code. So if I save and run the page now, you see that in the form Please choose your instrument is now the default value, the first one. And then after that, I have the data coming from the database, the list of instruments in alphabetical order. If I right click and inspect that using the developer tools of Chrome, you see the select here and you see that ColdFusion has generated the option tags 
thanks to the extra attributes that I have supplied with the CF select. You also see that that CF select has been processed and it becomes a regular select tag of the HTML. So this is one more goodie of the cold fusion forms.